This video is intended for legacy software installations for the Cryptomat plugin. As of today's 2020 current version for After Effects, Nuke, and other software, Cryptomat is installed by default. And three years ago, Blender community was very happy to receive the update so that whenever you render from Blender, you can output these Cryptomat passes to other softwares. So let's see how we do install these inside legacy software like After Effects and previous 2020 versions and even older Nuke versions. So all you have to do is go to the GitHub, official GitHub for the repo on the uh, PSYOP page and then you locate your folder, the one you want to uh, apply it to, download, in this case we're going to start with Natron, I'm going to download that, and then I'm going to follow the directions here to install it, like you're seeing right here. In this case, I'm going to create a new folder, uh, and then I'm going to copy the contents from the downloaded package right here, I'm going to create a specific subfolder, and then I'm going to extract all the contents right here. And the idea with Natron is that you can implement it so you can composite your passes or your render sequence right inside Natron itself. So once we have this step done, you can see what the plugin actually does. As a matter of fact, Natron has a lot of plugins updated by the community even to this day, 2020, so you can check um, what Cryptomat does right here. It can even identify up to three objects with this, uh, I, it's a very legacy um, add-on, so it probably has been updated up until this uh, date, so let's let's check it out. By the way, if you don't know what Natron is, you can go and download it for free because it's an open source compositor, very powerful and it can work in different platforms such as Windows, Macs and Linux. So you download it, of course, and once it's downloaded, you can install it. Please delete the previous preferences. You don't need them. Uh, this is a clean install of Natron, and once you're in there, you can just, you know, um, press the search button, and now you can type Cryptomat. And sure enough, you have your node ready to work. And if you double click, because my interface is designed this way, I, I like it this way, and you can double click pushing control and then it will pop up open this window where you can uh, plug your your mat IDs or the picker actually to start identifying your images now let's talk about legacy nuke please this is legacy nuke current versions I guess they also have it Once you get the download folder, you're going to install it in this location, as you can see right here. And the first thing you need to do is to copy this, um, open up this file, copy all the content. And now you're going to paste that into the init.py. And you can paste it right up here, as the instructions mention. You don't need the commentary, so we can um, delete those things, you don't need them, really. And of course, this is the first part of the plugin, which is to recognize the path, and now let's go for the menu, which will actually implement the icon into the UI. So you can read those instructions right here, take your time uh, to install this on a legacy nuke, um, because Right now, for 2020, every application has it. I did not try DaVinci Resolve because this morning I just downloaded the, the, the latest version. I had not time to try it, but I'm sure it has it as well. So we're going to locate this one, open it up, copy this content, which are the menu contents. You can close that, go back to your initpy, initp, whatever you want to call them. And of course, we're going to introduce this module down here and save that file. Uh, delete that, those comments as well, because otherwise you might probably get some errors when you start legacy nuke. Now let's just copy all of this because I don't want to write a longer path inside the, the init menu. So 
don't overwrite this do not overwrite those two files and paste all the other ones and when you're inside nuke you're going to notice the cryptomat the psyop i'm sorry cryptomat icon and sure enough if you press tab now you you have it available so you can connect it all right that's it and now finally let's go for after effects so how do you install cryptomat for legacy after effects well it happens so that there is this plugin called uh, Pro EXR AI, I I'm sorry, AE, and you can download it from the links I'll leave you in the description because it's a, it's a common practice, common standard plugin nowadays. Um, I'm just posting this just so in case that you're working in an older workstation, you know, older licenses, etc. I don't know your conditions, but I'm just posting this so it can help you to get Cryptomat in legacy uh, machines. And you can come here into the uh, media core and from there on you're going to find pro exr those are old files you probably could delete them or do a backup folder and place them there but what we want to do is to copy the pro exr um, newest files and paste them into your user preferences or i'm sorry into your um, plugins folder i'm sorry and i'm going to rename this I'm going to paste them here. I'm going to create a new folder called backup and I'm going to move those older files there and just the new ones outside that folder. And from there on, if you fire off um, After Effects, you can search for Cryptomat, you can drag and drop, and now you have your plugin available. This has been everything you need to do in case you're still working with legacy software uh, or legacy machines or legacy licenses and you can um, Continue to work with your renders from Blender with Cryptomat. Thank you so much to the PSYOP team. And this is a great add-on for your 3D compositing. If you like this video, thank you very much for sharing it and give it a thumbs up.